All right. I think we are live. We're just setting this up right now. So bear with me, guys. This is Rob with Thinkific. Just want to make sure that we are live and everything is good. All right. Okay. It looks like we are live. So um, thank you for joining us. Uh, this is Rob. My name is Rob. Uh, I'm here with Thinkific. I'm here in Vancouver at the Thinkific HQ. And I uh, want to welcome you to today's Facebook Live. Glad to have you join us. I'm just going to take a couple seconds here and just actually share this live with all of the different uh, communities and uh, Facebook groups um, and pages, just to make sure that we are not missing anyone that wants to join us live today. So just give me one second, guys. Uh, different, uh, oh, all right. Okay, so here we go. And uh, as you guys know, we have a special guest today. His name is... Uzair Karawala. Uh, Uzair is a badged Google partner and a YouTube certified professional. Uh, he runs SF Digital Studios in the UK since 2002 and offers a complete digital marketing service to his clients. He's also presented in many seminars, workshops, and has been a keynote speaker for leading brands in the UK and in Europe. Uh, so he's going to be joining us today and we're going to be talking about YouTube Live. So uh, just give me one second here, guys. Again, I'm just sharing this into our Facebook uh, group so that our friends in the Facebook group and the Thinkific Studio do not miss this. Uh, we had a lot of questions come in and we want to make sure uh, that we answer them for you today. All right, here we are. Just sharing this into the Facebook group. While I'm doing that, if you guys could just comment, uh, like I said, I'm in Vancouver. Uzair is uh, out of the UK. If you guys could comment and let us know where you guys are from, we'd love to know kind of what you guys, where you guys are located right now around the world. Uh, we have a global user, uh, sort of global community. So we wanna make sure that we are, uh, we know where you guys are at. It's really fun to kind of see where everyone is. So uh, as I share this into our group and into the events, here we go. All right, great. Um, I think I've got everyone, I think I've shared it with all the pages here and everything. So again, really glad to have you guys join me today. Um, again, my name is Rob. I'm with Thinkific Marketing Team. Um, and um, I manage the social media and our community here. I wanna say hi, Karen. Hey, Angela from Toronto and Karen from Maine. Awesome, good to have you guys here. Um, again, what is this uh, session all about today? And what's happening, right? As you guys know, uh, like I said, uh, we have a special guest, Uzair Karawala. Uh, Uzair is a badge Google partner and he's a YouTube certified professional. He runs SF Digital Studios in the UK since 2002, uh, helped many clients uh, with their digital marketing needs. Um, he's presented in different seminars, workshops. Uh, he's a keynote speaker for a number of different brands um, in the UK and in Europe, all over Europe. Um, also, Uzair is a Thinkific course creator. So no, he knows exactly you know, the things that you guys are going through as course creators to get your courses out there, to grow your audience. Um, and uh, so today, and sort of this four week workshop that we're doing is all about uh, YouTube. So um, that's what we want to discuss. That's what we want to dive deep into and sort of learn what the best practices are and strategies are to uh, generate and create an audience on YouTube and then drive that audience over to your uh, different courses. Um, Uzair is also a Thinkific ambassador. So he's a Thinkific ambassador uh, with us in the UK. Uh, he was at the London meetup. So we recently had a, a meetup in London uh, about two weeks ago and Uzair was there with uh, uh, several other course creators that are using Thinkific, part of the community there. And uh, we're gonna be actually holding some meetups with, uh, with Uzair very soon in the UK. So stay tuned for that in the Facebook group. All right, um, while we're doing this, I would also love to learn what you guys are teaching online or plan to teach online. All right, uh, type that in the comments. Uh, let us know what you guys are teaching uh, or plan to teach. That way we can also understand uh, who you guys are so that we can you know, make sure that we can present the information as best as possible. Now, over the four week series, so just to give you guys an idea, the, the, these workshops and these uh, Facebook Lives will be recorded. You can find the recording in our Facebook page and our Facebook group. Um, so if you go to the Facebook page, click on events, you'll find all of the, the four weeks there. So you can actually RSVP so that you don't miss any of the live sessions, but also go back and watch the replays there. 
All right. During this four week series, here are the things that we're going to cover. All right. We're going to be uh, covering how to get started with YouTube video marketing, how to generate views, subscribers, engagement, and signups to your course, how to do keyword research to rank your videos on YouTube and Google, how to outrank your competitors in YouTube search rankings, how to go from zero to a thousand subscribers in 90 days. And, and Uzair will show us that he's done that and he'll show us exactly his uh, strategy on how to do that. How to get your ideas, how to get ideas, sorry, to create engaging and high quality content, how to set up your funnel. Uh, so actually Uzair will be sharing his complete uh, funnel setup that he has created using Unbounce and Active Campaign. But those, those tools can be sort of switched up depending on what you guys are using. So we'll dive into that as well. Um, how to use YouTube video ads. So a little bit more advanced, how to use YouTube video ads to reach your audience using in-stream and remarketing ads and also a lot more. And of course, we will also answer questions live throughout each of the sessions. So join us for that. All right. So uh, excited for this is week one. So you haven't missed anything. Uh, so this is where we're at today. For the next 30 to 40 minutes, if you guys could just do me a favor. All right. And uh, we're going to be, you know, sharing a lot of information. So grab a notebook, maybe open up your notes app on your on your phone or your laptop. Uh, there's going to be a ton of content that Uzair is going to share. So we don't want you to miss anything. We also want this to be super informative, but we also want you guys to take action with the steps and the strategies that uh, we'll be sharing. All right. Uh, so if you guys could give us your attention for the next 30 or 40 minutes, promise we'll deliver as much content as we can and uh, information as we can. Uh, so uh, if you could just kind of maybe turn off the uh, turn off the uh, get out of the inbox for a little bit and just um, give us a little bit of attention on to this live session so that we can um, deliver as much content as possible to you and also answer your questions. And uh, again, this is uh, there. This is strictly information. We're going to be sharing strategies, information, data. There's absolutely no selling, nothing like that. This is not what this is about. Uh, so we want to make sure that we deliver as much content to you as possible and just educate you with, you know, how to use YouTube. All right. Um, so I think that's it. Um, if you guys have any questions, keep just put them in the comments. Again, we'd love to know where you guys are from, where you guys are teaching. And without further ado, I'm going to bring Uzair on so that he can tell us what he does and um, get us into this workshop. So give me one second. All right, Uzair, I'm going to bring you on. Uzair. Hi, Rob. Hey, how's it going? Very well, thank you. How are you? Good, good, very good, very good. So guys, this is Uzair. Uzair, say hello. <laughs> Hi, hello everyone, and thanks for joining in. And I really do appreciate you being with us. And thank you to Thinkific and to Rob for giving me this wonderful opportunity to share my knowledge, expertise, and know-how. And uh, as Rob said, I'll prom I promise that I'll help you as much as, pos as I can to get you started and to drive traffic to your online courses using the world's second largest search engine, YouTube. Perfect, perfect. Um, awesome, Zair. So um, I think, why don't we just do this? I know we've got, you know, we've got about half an hour. Why don't we just yeah. dive into uh, yeah. into the workshop um, and we'll get to know each other a little bit better there. Yeah. Um, and so what I'll do, Zair, guys, uh, just bear with us. I'm gonna transfer host over to Uzair and so that Uzair can share his screen. All right, great. In the meantime, while you're doing that, Uzair, and getting set up, uh, feel free to share your screen. Um, I see Karen. Hey, Karen from Maine. Hey, Angela from Toronto. Hey, Monique from Los Angeles. I remember meeting Monique uh, when we were down there in California earlier this year. Uh, hey, Lindsay, how's it going? Uh, Victoria, aka Canada, Hawaii. Pretty close, yes. Uh, so awesome, good to have you guys here. Uh, let us know what you guys are teaching. I have a pretty good idea, I think, with a couple of you there, uh, but uh, definitely let us know what you guys are teaching online so that uh, we have a, a better framework of who's with us today. Um, perfect. So Rob, can you see my screen? I can. Uh, on mine, it's black and white for some reason. Um, oh. Yeah, yeah. It, it should be in color. Um, okay, I'm gonna change the... Sure, no problem. Slide. Perfect. So while you're doing that too, also curious, since we're talking about YouTube, um, who here has a YouTube channel already? 
uh, let us know in the comments if you guys are already on YouTube, if you're already utilizing YouTube as a, um, as a channel to drive traffic uh, to your different courses or blogs or different assets online. Uh, I'd love to know sort of that way we also understand, you know, the, the level of uh, experience with everyone. So Nancy is on YouTube. Awesome. Uh, feel free to drop your YouTube links as well if you want, you know, uh, Uzair to take a look at it um, or to share just so we can kind of check out what you're doing. Um, feel free to do that as well. And Richard looks like he's joined us from Denver. Great teaching audiobook creation to authors. Cool. Awesome. It's great. That's a great space. Uh, there are definitely a, a big audience for that. Um, Karen, yep. Yeah. Karen has YouTube, great. Yeah, perfect. So is that working, uh, looking in color or still in black and white? Yeah, it's, uh, to me, it's in color. Um, so hopefully okay. so, it's in black and white. Yeah. So let me, you guys, what are you, are you guys seeing the, the deck, the, the presentation in color or black and white? Let us know. I think it there, it should be okay. I yeah. think even okay, if it is, we can just go through. Yeah, exactly. So. so um, yeah. all good. Uh, I'll, get, I'll get started and uh, Rob just um, nudge me for any questions or comments anyone sure. has and I'll do my best to answer them uh, for you so, for sure. so uh, yeah you guys like uh, like Uzair said there drop your questions in the comments Uzair is going to take over and kind of give us uh, a quick workshop here for about 20-30 minutes but we'll pause throughout it and uh, answer any questions you have uh, so drop your questions in the comments so that we can get your questions and I will ask Uzair for you. Sounds good? Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, thank you. So, yes. So hello, everyone again. Uh, my name is Uzair and I'm based in the UK. Uh, myself and my wife, Farzana, we run SF Digital. Business was started by my wife in, as a part-time business in 2002. So we've been going on for uh, quite a while, but the business was primarily a, a social photography business. The internet was just coming along. There was no Google. I believe it was Yahoo and all like Alta Vista and those search engines um, and the days of the dial-ups, if you remember. Um, so we were doing social photography. Then Google came along, uh, YouTube came along, and our uh, business uh, started to change from just doing social photography into corporate headshots for profile shots for social media headshots, uh, product shots for e-commerce websites, uh, video, YouTube came along and people started to ask us, to, okay, can you do uh, videos for us? Now for any website, uh, the two most important things on a website is uh, images and videos. So then we started to get requested, well, you're doing our photos and the videos, why don't you do our website? So we ventured into, yeah, that's a good idea. We started doing websites. And then in 2009, those of you who remember the doom and the gloom and the big recession, uh, the traditional source of advertising weren't working for us anymore. Magazines, trade shows, uh, fairs, etc. So I looked at Google AdWords and I started to get some really good results because not many people were doing it in those days. And before I knew it, you know, lots of my friends and other colleagues started to, you know, pester me to look at their campaigns. Now, I don't mind helping out as much as I can, but then it started to affect my business. So I thought, well, there is a requirement for this expertise. So I looked at monetizing this uh, expertise and I came across the Google Partner Program. And this is how we got bashed. Uh, every year I have to pass uh, number of exams uh, with them. So it's not just pass it once, you have to keep on uh, running the campaigns to Google's best practices and so on. So most of our work is kind of like paid advertising on Google AdWords and YouTube. Then I got the opportunity to uh, get YouTube certified as well for organic traffic, because not everybody has got the big budgets or any kind of budget to uh, spend on advertising. So I've been quite privileged to have been an evangelist for companies like uh, Nikon. I've been a Nikon advocate for over seven years now, and I presented for uh, a lot of major uh, brands in the UK and Europe, as you can see over here. And I'm also very thrilled to be uh, invited to join the Thinkific uh, ambassador program now. So I'll do my best to fly the Thinkific uh, flag all around the world, Rob. 
That's <laughs> awesome. Okay, so what does this Google Partner badge mean? Uh, what that means is that we get uh, invited to Google London on a regular basis uh, where they host seminars, workshops, and training days where we uh, get trained with the latest and the greatest uh, Google has to offer. And as we all know, the online uh, digital marketing landscape is really moving at a rapid pace. So we've got to keep on top of it. So as we all do every year on the 1st of January, we give ourselves some New Year's uh, resolutions. And um, I, gave, I thought, well, what shall I do this year? I wanted to do something different. And I had a YouTube channel, but it wasn't doing much. It was just sitting there like a lot of other YouTube channels because most of our campaigns were running on Google AdWords with paid ads. So I thought, okay, let me start putting up content regularly and see what happens. So I gave myself a challenge, the 90 day video marketing challenge. And I made myself or told myself that I'm going to upload one video a day, every day for 90 days. Now I, I managed to upload about 70 uh, in the 90 day period. So I, I didn't manage, but in those 90 days, the results were absolutely amazing. And the reason why I wanted to uh, get things started on YouTube was it's the second largest search engine. There's a lot of traffic out there and a lot of free traffic out there. And that's what I wanted to leverage for my Thinkific course is the top of the funnel uh, traffic where I get myself known in my niche to become an authority um, and an expert so that people can see my videos for free and then they can sign up to my courses if they wish to. Now, video is the fastest, quickest, cheapest, and the best way to build trust on complete autopilot. And I do mean it. Um, you do the work once and you'll see the views, engagement, interaction, comments, shares, likes, going on and on every day and night. Um, unless you delete your uh, videos, you cannot stop it. And why would you want to stop it, first of all? So you want to build up that trust and people will buy from people who they trust. That is for any kind of business. You know, you've got to build that trust first. And if you give out good quality and high quality content, uh, they are going to start trusting you very, very quickly. So here's how I create my videos. Most of them are kind of like workflow videos. Now, you would see a lot of uh, people, YouTube creators, all they do is screencast their uh, computer screen. They don't put their face on it. And just putting myself on the video actually escalates that trust building process very, very quickly. So I know we all hate ourselves being on video. We cringe, uh, cringe when we look at our own videos and hear our own voice. But, you know, we've got to get over it and just get yourself in front of the camera. So as you may have noticed from my previous, uh, uh, when, I, when Rob introduced me, I had a green screen behind me. So that's all I have is I sit on my desk in front of my computer with a green screen behind me and I green screen myself on and superimpose myself on the actual video. And these videos are not very expensive to produce. They haven't got many uh, graphics or transitions or anything. These are just simple, you know, keep it simple. That's the key to it. And keep it to the point and to the topic and you'll start to see um, real results. Most of my videos, you you can see over here is just a notepad and I don't even have a keynote presentation like this one because again, it takes time to produce all these slides. All you need is a few bullet points, talk about them and save the video, upload it to video, but upload the video to YouTube the right way. Majority of people who upload videos are doing it the wrong way. So hence they don't get any interaction or engagement or views, and then they give up very, very quickly. So what you don't want to be doing is giving up 
uh, even when I started this challenge, I kept telling myself, even if I did not get a single subscriber or a single view, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to carry on for the 90 days and then reassess and see what went wrong and what went right. And if I did things you know, incorrectly, then I need to change things because if you keep on doing the same thing over and over again, you can get the same results. So I took this um, screenshot of these stats uh, earlier on this afternoon. So I had about 30 subscribers uh, at the start of this year. And now we've gone on to just about 2,200 subscribers. Um, the views were hardly there. So I'm getting quite a lot of views. Now, in terms of YouTube, um, these stats aren't much. But for me, these are massive because that is the critical stat, KPI or the metric which I look at is the watch time. So 82,500 minutes worth of uh, watch the video watch time in the last month alone. That's equivalent, if my math is correct, it's about 24 days of nonstop me talking to my audience and they are listening to me, to every word I say on complete autopilot. And I'm now get generating leads and signups for my course from all over the world. And they just keep coming to my, in my funnel, sign up, and then, well, the fun starts. So these are, and I'll uh, log into my YouTube account and show it to you that, you know, these are not um, any Photoshop and, uh, uh, figures. I never do that. But this is what is happening right now. And it just keeps on growing over and over every day, and I'm getting new uh, subscribers. Okay. And not only that, I'm getting engagement. Um, people are starting to comment and give me feedback to and ideas to create more content. And when you get that kind of engagement, you know that you must be doing something right. Um, so this is just to it's not to impress you or anything like that. It is to impress upon you that, you know, we're in, what, July? And it's only been six months since I started doing my organic, you know, traffic uh, generation on YouTube. And I'm getting all these um, engagement and interaction um, on YouTube and also on other social media channels because with a video, you can do pretty much anything, you can put that video on your blog, LinkedIn, Twitter, you can start to drive traffic, but you first got to have that piece of content. And my content marketing strategy is absolutely video. And going forward, that is the heart and the core of our marketing mix is everything starts with a video. And then we uh, go into other uh, formats like text or audio. So before I get started in uh, and dig, dig, dive into keyword research, Rob, are there any questions or are we good to yeah. go? No, uh, I think we're, we're good. So yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's really good uh, sort of back information and uh, introduction. So yeah, no, we're good. Um, I don't see any questions here. We just had uh, a few people that just joined since uh, you started uh, the workshop. So um, Belinda, I think was wondering if this is recorded. Definitely this is recorded. Um, so we have a lot of people that are uh, missing this just because of time zones. So um, yeah, people, you can always come back to the Facebook group yeah. or the Facebook page to watch okay. this. And, right. Yeah, we're good. So that's fine. So brilliant. So let's start with keyword research. And this is where you got to get started, you re reverse engineer. Don't create the video first and then do the research and the keywords um, to see what people are searching for. Give people what they are looking for. Uh, research them first and I use a few tools, some are free, some are paid, but the paid ones are also very low cost and very, um, they're worth getting them. So the first one is Mangoes. So mangoes.com is a keyword research tool which I uh, use. So what this does is it gives me the likelihood of getting ranked in Google. 
and that's what you want to do. So we are kind of like attacking or a, a, a two prong attack on Google as well as YouTube. Not only you know just one channel is Google as well. So I want to see what's happening on Google. Now, as you can see, I put in the word Google AdWords MCC account. Now, Google AdWords is a very, very competitive keyword. Um, I need to make sure that um, I get ranked, but it won't, I won't get ranked because my website hasn't got much authority um, yet for getting ranked for such high quality um, uh, keywords. So what I want to do is to go after the low hanging fruit first. So kind of like when you go to a gym to start training, you are going to build up your stamina, muscles, fitness, gradually over a period of time, not from day one or day two. So what we want to do is to get after the low hanging uh, keywords, which may have um, less uh, searches, but that's fine. You just want to get started with getting ranked. So what Mangul does is it gives us the trend, the amount of searches. Um, obviously it also gives us the CPC for AdWords, but the keyword density over here, this is the critical thing. Uh, wherever there is green, that means they're saying to me, go after these keywords. They are the competition for these keywords is very low and the likelihood of getting ranked is quite high. So anything above, under 40, I would go after them and I start putting them into my uh, spreadsheet to start creating content for that. Now there are some which are over 60, which is in orange. And if this was 80, then it will probably show red saying that don't do it because you are going to waste time and money trying to go, get ranked for that keyword. So here's how the keyword SEO difficulty works. Um, it marks every keyword from zero to 100. Uh, obviously on 100, don't go after them, but on the lower numbers, you can quite easily get ranked, even if your website is fairly new and it hasn't got much domain authority, you can, you can start building it up. So anything under 40, um, I would go and then it tells you. Um, it's, it's easy um, and get ranked. Then it also shows you the first 10 uh, posts in, on the Google search page. So we can see over here that there are a couple of um, uh, links, which is the AdWords website that is 71 and word stream over here 55. They are high authority websites. It will be very difficult for me to beat them but oh, there's loads of these other ones where my website can potentially knock one of these out and then I can um, get ranked uh, for those. Again, you need a little bit of patience, especially when you're going on Google. Uh, don't try and get disheartened that, oh, after a week you haven't got any rankings. It, it does work, you will get indexed, but you have to be consistent with your uh, content marketing strategy and putting content up regularly. But on YouTube, it is pretty much instant because as I said earlier on, um, not many people upload videos the right way. So TubeBuddy is a free extension. It's a Chrome extension. They have a paid version as well, but you can start with the free one. And it is um, an amazing tool which every per person who is using YouTube should be using. So I'll take a screenshot of the page one of YouTube and you can see that for my keyword, for that particular keyword, I've got four of my videos ranked in the top 10, I think, or 10, top 12 or something like that. Um, and that's the power of uploading your videos the right way. You are going to get a ton of traffic in from YouTube completely for free. So what TubeBuddy uh, gives me is another 
uh, a competitive advantage over my competitors because it shows me the likelihood of getting ranked or not. It will tell me the search volume, the competition, and the overall mark. So over here, it is the opposite. The higher the number out of 100, the better it is. So that's in green. That means it is saying, yeah, very good. Go after that particular keyword. So any uh, keyword or phrase over 50 or 60, I would go after that because I know that the level of competition is very low and there is enough search volume to start getting the views because that's what you want. You, you don't want to rank for a keyword or a phrase where, which is not being searched by anyone. You got to have some kind of search volume. So that's what you need to keep in mind always when you're doing your keyword research is how much is the search volume and what's the strength of the competition. So competition is like a boxing match. You know, if you are going into a boxing ring to box with someone, no matter what you do, if you fight against a heavyweight boxer, no matter how much we train and exercise, and we're never going to beat that uh, heavyweight boxer. So some keywords are like that. We'll never be able to beat those keywords. But if we are going to fight against a lightweight or an amateur uh, boxer, so some keywords are like that amateur uh, amateur boxer, where he's going to throw some punches at us and I'm going to throw some punches at him or her. And, uh, well, him for me. <laughs> <won't be> <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll edit that out. <laughs> Joking. Mm. Um, and... I'll, I've got a 50% chance of winning that match. And the probability over here is very good for getting ranked in, um, in, in YouTube. So TubeBuddy is for YouTube. What it also gives us, this amazing ranking. So when you put up tags the right way and the relevant tags and for your videos, it starts to show you how are they getting ranked for that tag on YouTube. So as you can see, so these are two different videos. I'll just screenshot it. For this one, I've got a few of them on number one, number two, number 10. But this one is, or most of the tags are getting ranked. So you will start to notice that when, when that traction starts and that velocity of the view start to take place, more and more key tags are getting indexed in in YouTube, um, and which is going to drive you more uh, free traffic. So that's you, buddy. And in the next session, I'm going to go into each one of these tools, and you know, we'll have a practical session as to how I use these tools. But today, I just want you to have an overview as to um, how I do my keyword research. So it, I do spend a little bit of time. But I'm not going to spend days on end trying to work out which is the best keyword. No, just spend 20 minutes, 15 minutes or so, look at the keyword, get started. And then you just, you will get into the flow that you will know uh, which keywords are driving the, uh, the most traffic to your um, videos. Morning Fame is a fairly new tool and it is one of my most favorite. It is absolutely an amazing uh, app, and I would highly recommend it. I think it is about $9 or $10 a month, so it's not very expensive, but it's worth it. So this, again, gives us that competitive edge over our competitors and gives us the likelihood of our videos getting ranked on YouTube. So over here, as you can see, this is... Um, the heading, which is the ranking opportunity rating for SlideShare SEO tutorial. So that's the keyword or phrase I'm going after. So I'm asking a morning fame, will my video get ranked for that phrase? So then it looks at four different metrics, which are extremely important. Uh, and this is how YouTube uh, ranks 
your videos. One is the number of subscribers for your channel, the number of views, or you've got to think about the traffic volume, the likes and the comments, as well as the relevancy. And relevancy is the most important, one of my, the most important things, because the reason why we love Google and YouTube is when we search for something, it gives us the most relevant search. So if I'm looking for red apples, I'm going to get a result for red apples and not green apples, right? Mm -hmm. If that, you know, if it, this is why Google has been number one for a long, long time, because it really does give the most relevant and the best results for our uh, searches. So let's take a closer look at each one of these. So the subscribers, now, please don't worry about, oh, I haven't got any subscribers. And 1st of January of this year, I had only 30. Now, when I did this screenshot, you know, it had gone up to 586, but very within a matter of uh, weeks, I've now gone on to 22. So once it starts, you know, it just keeps on gaining momentum. So this is comparing my channel against the average channel in my niche, which is Google AdWords or digital advertising and so on, right? And then there's a third one, which is called the gateway. So the gateway uh, channel is, or video is where I'm going to knock that video down and my video is going to get ranked. So that's the, that's the gateway, right? So that is where it shows me how am I doing against my competitors? So my, I've got 586 here, the average competitor channel has got 265 subscribers and the gateway has literally got nothing. So uh, it's given me an A. Now what Morning Fame says over here, as you can see, that aim to find a search term for which you get at least a D for all four metrics. So we're not talking about A's and B's. You're talking about, you know, D is good enough for you right now. As long as they are D, I've even gone for E's and F's on one of the metrics because I just couldn't find the keyword. I would still get uh, ranked. But initially what you want to do is to pick up these low hanging fruits, right? So this keyword is a re really good one for me because I've got A's and B's. So the views. Uh, so right now my average views per video is 351. The average one is 563, so I'm below that. The gateway is only 15. Likes and comments, so, you know, think captivating videos and engagement. Mine is 10, average is five, gateway is zero. And this is where the relevancy and the opportunity comes in. That Potentially, my relevancy could be 100, whereas the average and the gateways are around the 30% mark. So now... With this level of information in my arsenal, I can fight this war and win it every time. So it's not a question of playing roulette or, you know, on the slot machine that will I win or will I lose? Absolutely not. We don't want to be doing that. We want to win every time. Um, so this is why I highly recommend that you at least um, have a free trial or use Morning Fame. You're going to uh, absolutely love it. All right. Then for every video on YouTube, you need to put in the title, description, and tags. Without these three being uploaded the right way, your videos will never get ranked. So the title makes 40%. Um, description is 20%. And the tags make 40%. So that's what the relevancy is made up of, right? So I put in SlideShare SEO tutorial. So my relevancy of 40% out of 40 has been achieved. Now you will find some uh, YouTube videos with a long uh, title, how to make a cool SlideShare SEO tutorials in 10 minutes. Now, because that keyword has been diluted with other words in the title, that relevancy goes down. So what you want to be doing is to keep that as high as possible. So don't try and spam, but make sure that just keep it to the point, right? So I've gone as slide share SEO tutorial, which is fine. It's readable for, 
for a human as well as for the robot or the bot, right? So I've got my 40% achieved over there. Description. The little trick over here is you can put more over here, but all you want to do is to put that keyword again in the description. So you can write something like in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a slide share SEO tutorial in 10 minutes. Uh, this is for, and you can have, you can expand upon it, but then you don't again, spam your description with uh, keyword stuffing, but just use it so that YouTube knows that yes, this video is about a slide share SEO tutorial. And then you've got your tags. Tags are again, extremely important. Don't try and use a lot of irrelevant tags because again, it dilutes your relevancy. You want to just put in the most relevant tags. So SlideShare SEO tutorial has made up of 11% of that 40% SlideShare SEO. So the things which I normally do, and this is which I worked out after a little while is let's say SlideShare SEO is my seed keyword. So I'll use it with tutorial, training, tips, how to these kind of you know words which people will uh, put in when they are going on YouTube. How to learn SlideShare SEO, you know top tips on how to do SlideShare SEO and things like that. So then, as you keep on putting these in, you start to see the relevancy going up. And now look at my video the relevancy is way above the other two. And this is how I can outrank them with zero channel authority. Even if I'm starting from scratch, any kind of channel, I can assure you and promise you that this works. And this is why I'm starting to get so many views and subscribers now because subscribers you're only going to get if your content is good. So you've got to make sure that your content is absolutely top class. Um, give away the farm. Don't think that, oh, if I give everything away on YouTube, they will not come and buy my course. They do because a lot of my videos are very similar on YouTube, which are on my paid course in Think Effect. And not a single person has ever said well, you know what, you know, I can get all these videos for free on YouTube. So why should I uh, pay you or can, uh, can I have a refund? Not at all. It, it just doesn't work like that because they appreciate the value you are giving to them. Um, then Morning Fame will also send you an email after 24 hours of a video being uploaded, right? So this is uh, they're showing me that uh, I had 43 views, which is the second most viewed after 24 hours out of 34 similar videos. And five likes I had got, which is the first most like after 24 hours. Because the first 24 hours is critical for any video when they upload it. You've got to get that velocity on the upward curve. And once you get that traction, you are going to just keep on getting indexed in YouTube searches and the suggested videos, and it's just nonstop going forward. So 99% of people don't do what I'm showing you right now, literally. Um, you can try it with a few videos, upload them, and um, see what happens. The other most important uh, factor to get the click on your video is the thumbnail. You need to create a good quality, professional looking thumbnail. It doesn't cost a lot of money or no money at all. All you need is a decent headshot. Use them on your uh, thumbnail image. And I use an app called Canva, which is a free app. It's an amazing tool which you can uh, use and I create these in Canva. And you see, it is comparing my thumbnail against the competitors. And not a single one has got a thumbnail, or a headshot on it. So mine stands out. So you can see what others are doing and what you are doing. And if you find that, okay, somebody else is doing something different or better, then don't copy them. 
but do something, uh, try and uh, get uh, inspiration from others and try and improve your thumb, uh, thumbnail images because when somebody sees that um, headshot, they know straight away, oh, that's one of my videos because I have my same colors, same font all the time um, to keep the uh, consistency in the branding. Then it's morning film is going to, oops, sorry. Um, it's going to show you how your keywords are getting ranked, your tags, I beg your pardon, based on your videos tags, how are they getting ranked in YouTube? So for that uh, video tags, one, two, three, four, five, are getting ranked in the top seven. So these ones aren't, but these ones are. So again, you get some great insights as to how to uh, search. As I said earlier on, you want your video to be ranked in um, YouTube, or sorry, beg your pardon, on Google. So over here, this is the main Google uh, page. Um, uh, oh, sorry, on YouTube, my video comes up and as well as in the uh, video tab, it's coming up. I checked earlier on, it was coming up under the main Google page as well. And Rob, if you would like to just open up a quick tab quickly and see if my link is there on SlideShare SEO tutorial. Um, let me share. Yep, let me just check here. Ah, there yeah. you go. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, it's, um, it shows up right below the, um, the paid ads, right, be right below the AdWords. Yeah, I'm also got come over here. Look, you see, I'm on Google. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, That's exactly what I see. So, so when, you, when you do try and search for your own keywords, do it in incognito window. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't excuse your um, searches because if you go in your... Uh, what was that slide? Share SEO tutorial. Let's see. There you go. So, you know, I'm showing you in um, real time that it's coming up on, on page one. So it, it, it really does work. Um, and using Morning Fame, TubeBuddy, Mangoes has allowed me to have a really good you know, competitive advantage over my uh, competitors. So we've come to the end of the presentation, enough of me rambling on, and I would like to answer any questions if anyone has. Awesome. Thanks, Zaire. That was super informative. I was uh, writing my own notes there. Um, yeah, we've got, we've got a couple questions here, I think. Uh, Laura's wondering, um, can you do thumbnails on a brand new YouTube channel? Yes. Yes, right? Yeah, any, any. Yeah, any video. Any yeah. video, whether brand new or not, you can upload. All you need to do is to verify your channel. Mm -hmm. If you haven't verified it, you will not get the option to upload a custom thumbnail. Now they made that process very simple. All you need to do is to send um, a text to your mobile. Uh, YouTube will send a text to your mobile phone and you verify it very quickly. It's, it's very, very easy. Very straightforward, perfect. Yeah, so uh, Laura, hopefully that answers your question. You can definitely do thumbnails. And I shared some tools there, Canva, as well as um, this other to uh, tool called Easel, uh, where you can yeah. create uh, thumbnail images yeah. uh, really yeah, easily. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they've got templates and everything there. So um, awesome. Uh, just give me one second. Uh, Uzair, I'm just scrolling through here to see if we have any questions. Monique was saying that she's super guilty of uh, spending too much time on keyword research. Uh, I, I agree as well. I'm kind of like that too, uh, doing a lot of uh, sort of like keyword research work. Um, yeah. But your advice is just like pick a couple uh, keywords that um, you can go after that are, you know, low competition, but do have searches and, uh, and just start creating and uploading. Yeah. Yeah. Because our tendency is to go after keywords, which has got a lot of search volume. We all want that volume, don't we? We all want those views. Mm -hmm. But if your channel hasn't got that uh, authority and that strength and the muscle to fight off the other channels, you'll never achieve that. So just 
think of going to the gym. Slowly and gradually, you are going to build up that stamina and the strength, mm -hmm. and you're going to be you'll be able to compete with the uh, uh, big boys and girls um, on YouTube and Google uh, within a matter of months. Literally, it doesn't take long. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's great. So yeah, so just jump into it and start creating and uploading and um, take those steps that uh, Uzair was showing there and definitely go into those tools. And I've added the tool, the links to the tools, uh, Mangles, uh, TubeBuddy, um, uh, Morning Fame, which I wasn't aware of till right now, till today. <laughs> uh, so that looks like an awesome tool to use. Um, I've used TubeBuddy myself, and it is really useful as far as like, getting all the tags and like showing yeah. the trending, trending tags and on Google and also on YouTube and things like yeah. that. So um, really great tool. And I think it's fairly affordable. Um, you know, I think you sign up, there's a free, there's a free version. And free then version. I think, yeah, after, there's also a paid one, which is still pretty affordable for what you get for it. Um, yeah. So definitely I'm going to, I'm going to check out morning fame as well. Um, what I'll do is I'll send you a link, Rob, which you can share with everyone which will give them the first month free for morning. Perfect. Time. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Yeah. Send that off to me and I'll add that guy. So you guys heard that uh, you guys can uh, use Uzair's link there to get a free month. Um, there's a, another question here uh, from Todd Gordon. Um, Uzair, I don't know if you, you know the answer to this, but um, he's wondering, does YouTube rank videos higher if they are longer and keep viewer retention at a decent level or, is it better to break the videos into say like two or three smaller videos that has higher retention? Great question. Yes. Good question. Audience, yeah. Yeah. Audience retention is critical for any kind of platform, whether it is Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, every, all of these uh, platforms want that person, those uh, audience to stay on their website for a longer period. So if your video keeps somebody on YouTube for a longer time, then yes, it, it will uh, make a difference to your rankings. And the other, other thing which YouTube also takes into account is after watching your video, they continue watching other videos, then you, your video also gets that credit for keeping them on YouTube and then sending them to some other videos as well. So it, you, what I tend to do is I don't keep tend to keep my um, videos very long. I usually upload around the seven to 10 minute mark. Some of them are a little bit longer, but on average, it's, you got to ask yourself, do we have a 30 minute or 30 minutes every day to watch a video? No, we don't. But we are more likely to watch a five minute video where somebody is showing you how to solve your problem. Now, if I'm look searching for something and I've got a problem and I see a video which is 40 seconds long. Now, what is that person going to show me or teach me in 40 seconds? Not much, right? So don't make it too short, but then give them enough so that they can be tempted to click on your uh, video and say, yeah, this was good. So if you've got a video which has got, which covers a lot of things, then I would say break them into, you know, part one, part two, or break them into different uh, videos so that you can give that link in the description and ask them to click on those links to watch more videos. So yes, it is, it is important, the viewer retention on YouTube. Perfect, perfect. Great answer, Todd. Hopefully that answers your question. Um, and I, I think maybe just to add, um, Uzair, what do you think about then making those, let's say it is two or three videos, turning that into a playlist for that particular? Yes. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, organize your videos on playlists. So I have my playlist for AdWords, YouTube, and so on. So mm -hmm. that, you know, they don't need to go searching for other videos because I want them to keep on watching my videos. And if they're organized in the playlist, then they'll keep on watching them one after the other. Awesome. Awesome. Great. Um, yeah, I think that is all that I can see here. If anyone still has any other questions, uh, I think we have a couple minutes. 
Otherwise, I've also linked the next week's live session um, into the comments here. So please go in there, RSVP, just say, you know, click that you are going to attend. Um, even if you can't make it live, that way you're notified and that when we put the recording that you guys can see it. Um, Uzair, can you give us a little bit of a sneak peek into what we're going to be talking about next week? So next week, we're going to dive and get our hands dirty with morning fame, especially. Perfect. <laughs> uh, um, so I uploaded a video which promoted the, the Thinkific, um, this uh, YouTube training session. So I'm going to go through my whole workflow process as to how I researched the uh, keywords and what has happened so far, because by next week, I would have had that video online for about 10 days. So it'll be all in real time. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Sounds great. Uh, yeah, Laura, thanks for joining us. Now, is there also, is there anything, you know, uh, you know, everyone here is probably on a different uh, level or stage with their YouTube channel, but is there something uh, maybe just in general so that, that you can say like sort of as a quick homework or assignment until we meet again next week, um, you know, yes. that, uh, that everybody can do and uh, we can be yeah. kind of following along. So what I would say is um, make a list of about 10 keywords. Okay. Right. Um, and start to think about some topics. So just create a simple spreadsheet, really. Um, nothing complicated. And start to put ideas in it. And in one of the other sessions, we're going to, I'm going to show you how I research those keywords and find my audience, what they're searching for, and then how I go and answer their uh, questions and solve their problems. So just do a little bit of homework, key, just do some keywords and look at your competitors. That is very critical. What are they doing and what are they not doing? And that's where you will find a gap in the market, no matter how much, comp I mean, competition is everywhere, right? In every niche. Mm -hmm. Uh, AdWords is as competitive as you can uh, imagine. It is very, very competitive, but yeah. most of them are not doing it the right way. And secondly, they are not uploading consistently. And this is what you need to do is be consistent. Um, batch, batch process your videos, batch record your videos. And that's it. You know, you don't have to keep on recording it every day. Perfect. Perfect. There you go, guys. So homework for next week, two things, uh, make a list of 10 keywords for your niche, for your, for your services, for whatever you're doing for your products. Yeah. And then also check out your competitors, videos, their channels. What are they doing? What are they not doing? Yeah. You know, uh, taking some of the things you learned today, kind of see what they're doing. Are they uploading consistently on a regular basis? What's sort of their rhythm with doing that? Um, uh, also, Uzair Wasim Rahman uh, here joining us live was wondering if you can share the, the uh, code for um, morning fame. So yes. we'll do that right after this. And yeah, um, yeah that'd be- and Because it's awesome. an invite only at the moment, I believe. So okay. I'll put the link so you can share it with everyone. Perfect, perfect. And also Starlet Matthews was wondering if we're gonna meet again same time next week, exactly same time next week. So mm -hmm. Monday, yes. 11 a.m. Pacific time, uh, 7 p.m. where Uzair is. So Uzair, I appreciate you, you. you know, joining us this evening. Um, and um, that is all. Oh, uh, do we have, can you take one more question? I think Laura has yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Okay, great. Uh, so Laura's answering, uh, does consistently mean weekly, daily, monthly, or does that make any difference? Um, as far as I guess, consistently uploading is that, are you okay. referring to daily, weekly, monthly? Okay, I'll refer back to the analogy of going to the gym. If you want the results, how often you go to the gym? If you go once a week, you're going to achieve the results in a longer period of time compared to going daily or twice a week or th three times a week. So initially what I would say, you know, try and upload two to three times a week and then you can take that uh, foot off the paddle and then you will have that uh, traction on your, ac the activity on your channel. So initially the first 90 days, what I would say is, I know I gave myself uh, upload one video a day challenge, which was, you know, quite brutal. <laughs> I was <laughs> working seven days a week and trying to upload, but I made myself do it. But now I'm getting the results. And, you know, there's no shortcuts without hard work. Perfect. 
Great. Yeah, I think I think that that's the perfect answer for an analogy with the gym. Laura, mm -hmm. hopefully that helps you. Um, just get started. I think that's the main message here. Mm -hmm. um, so, Uzair, thank you so much. Uh, everyone that joined us live, thank you so much. And everyone that's going to watch on the replay, uh, we're going to be watching this. You know, obviously, I'm going to be checking in and um, answering any comments and, and uh, replying back to you guys. We will share that link from Muzair once we get it um, on uh, getting started with uh, Morning Fame. Um, and um, we will see you guys next Monday, 11 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, same time, same, same place here. Um, if you guys, yeah, perfect. I think that's Thanks, it. Rob. Thanks, Rob. Muzair, Thanks, thank everyone, you so for much. joining yes, Great, bye. sir. I think you just need to uh, send the host back to me so then I can ah, okay. log us off. <laughs> okay. Uh... Give me one second, Rob. Sure. I think you should have it now. Great. All right. So just click on participants at the bottom, right beside share screen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There it is. Yep. You got it? I think so. Give me one sec. Yeah, you're done. I'm the host again. Awesome. Yeah. Just hang on for uh, for a quick.